George Laban and his alter ego, Champagne Charlie. Charlie's whole act was a rude provocation. Labour was noted for the majestic sweep of his hand play. He postured and strutted. He was almost homo erectus, almost a walking kind of phallus. From coffee and from supper rooms, from poplar to pell mell, the girls on seeing me exclaimed, Oh, what a champagne swell! tiny chap he's got his eye open for the pretty girl uh, it's all it's a bit sexy it's a bit naughty his songs were about the drink culture from dukes and lords to cabmen down i make them drink champagne oh champagne charlie is my name Champagne was the fashionable drink of the day. It had come down in price. Laban exemplified, embodied this new relish for champagne. He was provided with money from the champagne shippers to live the life of the swell off stage as well as on stage. Charlie's boozing was an affront to the aims of a Victorian temperance movement that saw the demon drink destroying the health and morals of the nation. This darker side to life in the cities was also revealed in songs that acknowledged a world of prostitution where the upper class took their pleasure with the poor. The thing I most excel in is the PRFG game. What did PRFG mean? took me years to find this out. It meant private rooms for gentlemen. A reference to these premises that were available to men who could take prostitutes there or other women for their assignations. Your champagne, Charlie, is my name. That's it. Flirting with taboo areas of Victorian life was one of the great attractions of the music hall. And it was this probably 